All right, today we're on a 2005 uh, Glass Stream 328 SCX. Starting out here in the in the bow, we have a cuddy cabin. A uh, real nicely laid out boat. And we're gonna open up the doors here. And inside we have a, a lot of features in this cuddy. It is not a stand-up cuddy, but um, there's room under these pads uh, for sanding or sitting in the couch style. Um, and there's also room under there for a porta potty. Combing pads all the way around. There is a common zebra stripe theme in the boat. I'm gonna crawl in here a little bit so that we can look around. Um, we do have uh, fresh water. Uh, you got a storage compartment up there. You got a storage compartment up there. You also have 12 volt lighting in here and air conditioning. Um, now this is a fan unit uh, and this is ice produced air conditioning, which is extremely efficient uh, and easy to, to care for because all you really have is a fan that's blowing uh, air over a block of ice. And I'll show you where the block of ice goes in a minute. Uh, we've got a iPhone hookup here with a step, separate stereo storage compartment, like I said. And uh, looking out, uh, we have our center console and we're gonna, I'm gonna crawl out of here in a minute and we'll look at the ice compartment next. All right, here we are on the deck and we have uh, two forward seats here uh, and there's our bench seat uh, in front of the console which seats another two. Uh, but looking under here, you have a cooler type arrangement with a little bilge pump in it. You stick a block of ice in there and the cold blows through from the ice onto the fan and uh, it is a proven time-tested method of air conditioning that is very efficient. You just have to have a block of ice to start the day, which you can get from any ice house. Over here, we've got a fresh water tank fill, cup holders and uh, fusion speakers all the way around. The center console access is a China Bowl style with the gas shocks. You also have uh, clamps down there for a porta potty, so maybe that's where it should go. Uh, but there's lots of room in there to sit down. Uh, he had his life jackets and stuff in there, and we kind of put them on the yard there so I can take pictures, but it's ventilated, uh, it might be lighted, uh, but there's plumbing in there that you can you know, see the macerated pump there. You could, uh... oh, sorry about that, sorry. All right. So the vessel does have a, a top. It is an arch style top. It comes in two pieces. Uh, this is half of it. The other half uh, is on a bracket that's out back next to the garage and uh, he's waiting to get that reupholstered. There is a huge uh, Furuno radar dome up there. And then this is a sport boat, poker run boat, fishing boat, family boat. A lot of uh, uses here for this vessel. You've got some small fish boxes on the side here. You get gunnel storage for rods and gaffs and whatnot. And as I turn around, we have our uh, center console. And we've got all of our uh, switches and accessories there. We got uh, Mercury Smartcraft, uh, two, let's see, one speed and two tack, and those are multifunction gauges. Uh, in this compartment next to the, the helm is your uh, VHF radio. And then we have an electronics box up top and it's got uh, the Furuno head unit, also a Garmin backup unit. And take a look at the pictures for that. Uh, here's your Mercury Smartcraft uh, throttle, digital throttle, very nice. Vessel does have uh, trim tabs, a uh, lot of nice features. A bow rail going all the way around. The upholstery uh, does need a refresh and uh, we have an estimate for that. So check the ad for the details, but that is a drop down bolster there. There's a lot of room underneath for uh, an ice chest. Uh, and then you got this wide open uh, deck area back here also with lots of features. Uh, starting with this in deck fish box that is huge. It's probably about 90 gallons, uh, very large. And it's insulated, has a drain. Uh, you got your battery access down there, which look at the ad for the pictures. 
And then there's your uh, fresher wa raw water switch, some Kenwood speakers, uh, and again with the combing pads, uh, we do need a refresh on the upholstery and check the ad for the details on that. Going across the back, uh, we've got a, a walk-through transom door. It's a double door. And then next to that, we have a, uh, a live well, which is uh, aerated and lighted. Very nice, very large. Okay. And looking back, there's our power plants. Twin Mercury four strokes. Uh, we're gonna step down from the boat and take a look at that in a minute. Catch a hydraulic steering. All right, great looking boat, well laid out. We're gonna take a look at the outside next. Uh, outside of the boat, here's our power plant. We got twin Merc four stroke 250. Supercharged, uh, both with Bravo One 22 pitch four blade prompts. Uh, vessel is very nicely laid out. You got underwater lighting there. Pop-up cleats, there's your trim tabs. You can see how that uh, top is made there. And we've got a really nice lifting chine down there. Step hull. And she sits on a triple axle, all aluminum trailer. And there she is, beautiful boat. Great package, all officers are welcome.